Hey, homeschooling can be stressful with all the changes. I talked with Adriana Rodriguez with Academics of Math and Science on how they are helping their students. Adriana, tell me a little bit about the Academy of Math and Science. So the Academies of Math and Science, we're a charter network um, serving approximately 5,900 students this current year in grades K to 8. Uh, we offer a high quality, well-rounded college prep education in at-risk communities. Um, in addition to core subjects, all our students take art, music, foreign language, uh, computer science, physical and physical education. In addition to our core program also, we offer extracurricular activities for our students after school um, that include such as uh, gymnastics, martial arts, um, sports for all grade levels, and art, uh, arts and crafts of some kind. Um, those programs are primarily driven by student interest um, at each campus, so they may vary by campus as well. How many campuses do you have here in the Valley? So actually our network is comprised of a total of nine campuses, two of them being here in, in the Tucson area. And in the, also in the Tucson area, it includes our flagship school, um, AMS Prince. And in the Valley, actually, we have a total of five campuses that are running right now. And actually, we'll be opening two additional campuses um, coming this July. So we'll have a total of seven um, in the valley upcoming this school year. Yeah, and we know that uh, this has uh, impacted a lot of the schools at this time. I know you've made some adjustments. Let's talk about some of the adjustments you made for your students. No, absolutely. So as you know, these are definitely unprecedented times for, for all of us. Um, we had to quickly um, adjust not just our program, but we also had to look and see how we move forward and proceed with um, our students as far as providing meals for our students and instruction for our students and also our enrollment efforts as we proceed and look forward to the new school year. So our team had to come to quickly together to collaborate um, as a team and decide what our online options would be for our students because we know and are aware that um, the community that we serve that technology might be um, something that is not available to them at home and so what would that look like for our students and our teachers moving forward um, we also had to again change how we interview candidates we're primarily doing um, teacher interviews for the upcoming school via zoom um, for our enrollment efforts we've had to uh, switch over from face-to-face -face, um, in interactions to virtual tours of our campuses and also um, just informational meetings via via facebook or zoom for parents to learn more about our schools as well yeah. let's talk about your teachers because i know teachers right now are having a really difficult time not doing the online teaching but not being able to be in the classroom with their students and they miss the, i never thought i'd hear a teacher go i miss <laughs> being in the classroom with those kids how are they adjusting you know i will say i'm very proud of our of our teaching staff they have embraced um, the new way of teaching in a, in a short period of time, and they've been very open to the change. And they have just found very creative ways to maintain relationships with their students and the families, and also keeping the students engaged and having peer-to-peer -peer interaction as well. Um, they've you know, have Zoom meetings with their students. They interact with families via class dojo, making phone calls as well. And just again, the creative side and in, in getting them involved with one another. Um, they've created and scheduled events such as uh, Spirit Weeks from home. Um, so students send in pictures of their the costumes or how, whatever the, the Spirit Week um, focuses on. Um, they've had virtual field trips with their students. They've uh, scheduled lunch with the principal for parents and students to participate in. They've had movie nights as well, uh, virtually. So they've been really creative. And, and again, I'm very proud um, of what they've been able to do. And they've all really dug deep during this difficult time to, to again, keep students engaged. And I know they miss them as well. Oh, that is so great. Okay, if I'm a parent right now looking to visit your school, how can I do that right now? So right now you can actually call our, our school. Um, we have a phone number that you can contact and where they will schedule you and uh, for a virtual tour. Also let you know any informational meetings that we're having uh, as well. And they'll have someone call you back where you can ask any questions you might have and they'll be able to provide those answers for you as well. So that's great. Thank you very much and uh, good luck with the new school year. 
Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure.